All right, Mary, we're going to talk about uh, Elvis Presley. This was Do your... Do we still have time? We, uh, we, we got time. Okay, we got time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, and I was also surprised to see Priscilla Presley walking on the Met Gala red carpet with Austin Butler, who's playing her her dead ex-husband. Yes. <laughs> um, so when I started looking into their relationship, I found out that they met when she was 14 and he was 24. Yeah. While he was stationed uh, 14 in Germany. And 24. 24. And I don't know why a 14-year-old would even be Who's at a parents? party for adults. Seriously. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. We're, we're going to talk about that. Her parents are, are like the craziest part. No, the parents are fascinating in this mm-hmm. case. So so the article says, opinion, uh, opinion, critics of upcoming Elvis biopic propose a boycott due to allegations that he groomed his wife. Written by someone uh, who's Mary... Mary, um, Mary... Who is that? Who is that? Oh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't know who that is. is. <laughs> Go ahead and read. This is your article. <laughs> sure. Uh, so... Wait, where am I? <laughs> I missed it. Well, you, you wrote it, woman. <laughs> you start usually at the top. That's uh, where articles oh, start. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. Sorry, thanks, I closed it. Okay. <laughs> um, Baz Luhrmann's highly anticipated biographical feature on Elvis Presley is coming out later this month on the 24th. I, I am planning on seeing it personally. Um, and I heard is, that yeah. it got a 12 minute standing ovation at Cannes Film Festival. Mm-hmm. And it's gotten praised. Uh, very highly by his daughter Lisa Marie Presley and Priscilla. Um, I know that critics have given it mixed reviews just because they don't like the pacing of it or they think it's too flashy, like a trailer made into a movie. Um, But Priscilla said that it's a true story told brilliantly and creatively that only Baz in his unique artistic way could have delivered. That awesome. part sounds like studio, like the studio told her to say it that yeah. way. Maybe. Unless she's like a big Baz Luhrmann fan, I, I, that sounds like studio uh, publi- publicity. <laughs> I um, I heard that she actually was like crying, and uh, it was like a very emotional so reveal. This is a weird thing to talk about because she's still very. I clearly, don't like that. Uh, I don't like the whole like making biopics while people are still yeah, alive. Yeah, that's thing. weird. Well, he's not. Well, there, it's not about him or about her. I know, it's about but him. it's like very much involving. Her. I wish that it were like no major characters in the film were still alive because yeah. the story didn't end yet. You know what I right. mean? Right. The story's still But anyway, going. she said Austin Butler, who played Elvis, is outstanding. Bravo to him. He knew he had big shoes to fill. Mm-hmm. Um, so people have, certain things have resurfaced. Resurfaced. Remember, whenever, have, uh, that, 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 there's no such thing. Suspiciously resurfaced. Mm-hmm. That's uh, not a real no. thing. Nope. Uh, a Twitter thread blew up yesterday calling on audiences to boycott the upcoming biopic over concerns that Elvis groomed and abused his wife Priscilla. The thread included clips from her 1985 interview with Barbara Walters where she detailed dark aspects of their marriage hmm. in an incongruously lighthearted tone. Uh, so I... I didn't like it because she was like she was like throwing her head laughing like that sounds like stockholm syndrome right totally Honestly. totally talking about how like i'll just get into what what she was talking about in multiple instances he like gave her sedating pills oh, where one no time classy. she was knocked out for two days at a time um she said he had a weird fascination with corpses or the shock value of it and he multiple times uh, took her to a morgue just for the thrill of it. I I don't know if that was if she meant that she was incapacitated at the time that he took her to the morgue. Huh. Um, <laughs> don't like that. Yeah. She also recalled that he was violent at times. He gave her a black eye once. He threw a chair at her. Um, he just had a very bad temper. But she speaks about him in glowing terms now. Yes. And she she even said in in a positive light that he was like a father to her <laughs> oh that's not good which is kind of a red flag right? super, like um, super big red flag so she moved in with him when she was 15 uh i think that that was like a year after they had originally met and her parents uh were very involved in arranging this this is the this is the strangest part to me her parents were not like uh deadbeats who just kicked uh-huh. her out they seem to be involved in every step of the process of their courtship. Like mm-hmm. it's like the so they go. She goes to a party, uh, and he's absolutely infatuated with Priscilla Presley. Uh, and she goes home. Her parents are like, "We don't want you to see him again." He convinces the parents to let him see her 
thank you. Oh, thank you. To let him see her yeah, uh, so again. This is after he went back to the U.S. Uh, like six months after they met or something. Yeah. Um, so they were communicating uh, with letters and she... Uh, his girlfriend, who was an adult, uh, yeah. named Anita Wood, she was an actress, she found one of the letters that Priscilla sent him that was asking him to call her father so that her father would let her go to visit him. Wow. And she was like, I know that he would let me see you. Just call him. And then when Anita Wood uh, confronted Elvis with the letter like what's this proof of you like cheating on me with a child a minor? what the heck uh he, so was, mad. he reacted like in an complete outrage uh shoved her up against the closet oh, wow. he was he she said he was so mad at me just livid because i had found the letter and he insisted that it meant nothing he said this girl again she's just a child she's just a 14 year old child it means absolutely nothing thank she you she just wants to visit it means nothing uh-huh so soon after she moved in with him and then they got married when she was 21. So so the thing is like she moves there but they, she doesn't move, she doesn't live with him. She lives on a separate property and they claim to this day that they did not consummate the marriage until the mm -hmm. night up like they did not have sex until for 6 years. For 6 years that they Sure. They, well, I, she believes I it. I believe it cuz I think they did like he'd still made her do sexual things. Like it she said that he was obsessed with getting pictures of her and Ooh. having her like you. pretend to do sexual things without actually doing so, that. Okay. So riddle me this. He gave her drugs that completely sedated her and he was obsessed with corpses, but she says to her knowledge, they didn't consummate till after they were married. I'm going to call knowledge. Yeah, no, I'm call so, BS. I don't mm, believe that. Not just at that, all. but but it's also like you mentioned earlier says he was the face of, this is what got me. And I wish I could like analyze this further. Um, he was like such an icon for this sexual awakening of our our entire yeah, nation. Yeah, he was. Yeah, and extremely provocative in his it. movements. Extremely provocative yeah. the way he was able to kind of lure people in yeah. with his with uh, his energy. Like it's kind of what's scary. And then the fact me is that it, like behind closed doors, he was the most like sexually deranged person, and like. Repressed. Yeah, not surprising. To me. That, no, that's the that the interesting part is the it's the repression and the yes. and the fact that and, and this is my qu my big question overall is like I have an issue with the way that we as a society be be it the way that the media is we have uh, all these heroes that we've put on pedestals from prior generations right? right and literally what we're watching is they just get knocked down one after the other and i do think that that will happen to him it just won't happen until priscilla presley passes away the because the information is already out the, there the yeah. information is out there but she would be able to con she would contradict it in her assessment of right. it and people don't want her ability to counter that narrative to who elvis presley was so as long as she's alive to speak positively about him they will not tell right. that story they will tell it as soon as she passes away right. once you remove that layer of what sounds to me very much like stockholm yeah term, exactly you're probably going to get the real story exactly Exactly. Now, now, if she was to turn around and say right now that like, look, it was disgusting, it, it was uh, depraved, and it shouldn't have happened. It's not likely. Th th that, that is the story they would be telling. Happen, though. Right. She's seventy-seven, yep. and at this point, she has nothing but good things to say about him. And uh, so, in this interview, she also said that after she had their daughter Lisa Marie, they never were into Thank it ever you. again. Thank you. And then they divorced in 1973 after six years of marriage. Right. Strange. And and he didn't want to get married anyways. Like that was like that was a big part yeah, of Yeah, he felt pressured into it. And like in like the dad her her father this this is why I'm saying the parents are fascinating. The mm -hmm. father threatened to have him charged with the Man Act of uh, having a minor uh, transported across state or federal like lines for the purpose of uh, s uh, sexual intercourse or whatever that mm -hmm. law states. So it's not like the parents weren't involved. Mm -hmm. It's almost like an arranged, like a weird, like they, they were an doing it because marriage. they knew it was beneficial yep. to her future mm -hmm. to do this. So they sacrificed her innocence and her childhood for money. the ability to her for her to to have for what she has now which yes is what just uh, money uh, money just and, money I, and I, apparently good memories that she that she thinks she has uh, it's not yeah, my job it, to interpret him but i do think that all of that is just effed up it was like, really disturbing to see her fondness for him in the interview yeah. and now she's you know walking alongside this younger man who is playing him and Ugh, honoring his memory let's be fair to priscilla 
Elvis is the reason she is famous. Nope. Totally, Without him, yeah. she's nothing. She didn't have any other talent, did she? But did she? She even became want an actor. That? She mm. became an actor. Yeah. Did Did she even want to be famous? She didn't know what she wanted. She was a she's child. Only, yeah, they child. They both had affairs. He had a morals clause in his RCA contract. That's, that's crazy. ironic. Yeah. That's, oh my. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like that was no. Wow. That says uh, the couple. The couple married on May first, nineteen sixty seven, at the Aladdin Hotel in Las Vegas. The wedding arranged by Parker to maximize publicity featured a of few course. guests uh, and over and was o- only over eight minutes long. It was. Uh, it was over in only eight minutes uh it was followed by a quick press conference a of press course. conference at your wedding that's yeah. uh, if that's Classy. not cynical i don't Ugh. know what is uh and a ten thousand dollar breakfast reception attended by friends family and business associates uh and they, they they talk about when he wanted a divorce that they had to remind him that you know that you know like you if you get in trouble for what you what happened you're going to get in a lot of trouble. You're going to lose your money. Uh, you could get in a lot more trouble than that. So it's it's kind of terrifying to, yeah. to me. Like she actually uh, accepted like a, a smaller settlement at first for the divorce. And then her lawyer is like, look, he's worth way more than that. You should get more. Like he, she was going to take like a like a $100,000 lump sum and $1,000 a month uh, in spousal support and $500 for child support. And the lawyer got her like 725000 oh, no. which in that time period would be that was a lot, a lot, a lot of lot, money. Yeah. So it's just, they both had affairs. It's just the most quintessential Hollywood thing you've ever heard. Really they is, both had yeah. affairs. His, it was creepy to begin with. It was a lot. And like he apparently like tried to take a hit out on the guy she had an affair with Ooh, uh, in here. Spicy. It's, it's uh, so <laughs> possessive and so it, it's weird because even when he was with her, he didn't even. It was her karate instructor. Whoa, what? <laughs> uh, named Mike Stone, and it says uh, it says uh, later uh, later that month, says Elvis reportedly became paranoid about Stone and said, "There's too much pain uh, pain in me. Stone must die." His pr- his outburst continued with such intensity that a physician was unable to count calm him even with large doses of medication. After another two days of raging, <laughs> Elvis's friend and bodyguard Red West made inquiries to arrange a contract killing wow. of Stone, but was wow. relieved when Elvis said, "Oh hell, let's just leave it for now. Maybe it's a bit." Heavy. Heavy. That's such a that you is think? such a n- an insane <laughs> reaction to the idea that this guy just suggested you guys take a hit out on He's someone. Like, yeah, and maybe I just not. think it's so interesting <laughs> that this biopic is basically going to be like I hope it's good. I'm going to watch it anyways. Mm-hmm. But I, it sounds like it's basically going to be a little montage of like his rise to stardom, narrated by Tom Hanks. The industry didn't want him to succeed. That, that's what the trailer felt like to it's me. It's going like, to be like uh, he opposed purity culture yeah. in the 1950s and 60s. And good for him. You like, guys, is this the way they shoehorn in the idea that 14 year olds should be able to marry whoever they want? God, I hope not. They've been pushing these oh, this childhood autonomy. I mean, the fact thing. that they're overlooking it does Dude. say a lot. I'm curious how people respond to this. This is really unsettling. Well, it's just most it's, people they, don't know anything about this. That's something I didn't know until learn, yeah. until she she told me about that. The, mm-hmm. the problem isn't that it, that uh, people are going to boycott it. The problem is most people won't know that it's actually happening. Right. right. That's the scary part of all right. this. So. Well, I've already learned a little bit about the Man Act, which was really fascinating. I guess it was prohibiting the transport of any woman across any state line for the purpose of woman or girl. Yeah. For the purpose of debauchery, prostitution, anything like that. Yeah. And it came about in 1910. So it's. Uh, apparently been going on for quite a while but this is like an age-old human mm-hmm. thing to kind of transport and ladies. it wasn't even across state lines she came from germany, germany. to live with oh, him. but they were u.s citizens because her dad were, was yeah. uh yeah her dad was in, in the military mm-hmm. so all right uh, uh so, i have some super chats okay. here oh, oh yeah yeah hava owens said man these hollywood people are sickening sick yep. and depraved people i tell you correct <laughs> Uh, one of the hardest parts yeah. of doing this job is like balancing the uh, the love of the art of film and the art of making amazingly emotionally evocative and stirring movies, and then knowing that the people that a lot of the people that make them, not all, are just awful people if it helps i'm also a great admirer of art and many 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 artists of any form but especially like um classical art some of this really old school stuff very creepy very weird gentleman still amazing artist didn't einstein marry his cousin oh who knows he probably did? Seems yeah. right. I, I think einstein <laughs> married his cousin. somebody in the chat will have to yeah, so keep if it in you the catch family us, i'm hearing like, of this that that Gross. could be uh that could be like a factoid that that, that i'm missing there's a uh, more super chat yes yeah, saint miles said yep it was creepy then as it is now mm-hmm. It, in the most creepy parts that I didn't know that that it was not common knowledge, that, especially now that, that Elvis is being talked about more than usual, you would think that things like this would 
be a bigger up. deal to people. But no, let's just keep talking about ethnic cosplaying or whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, everything has its time. <laughs> uh, I could marry his cousin. That's gross. Caper anyway. 2X said Hollywood in a nutshell. Yep. Yep. That's, yep. That's and exact, it goes on. That's exactly it. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.